Hey, how's it going? I, uh, I'm out here in the garage. Wanted to show you a little gift I bought for one of my sons for Christmas, my 12 year old. He's been dying the last couple years. He really wants a Christmas hatchet. Um, I don't know why, but uh, he has this grand dream of chopping up firewood. We've got a couple fireplaces in the house and a fire pit out back. And uh, last couple years, my wife wouldn't let me buy him a hatchet. So uh, now uh, she was okay with it. She didn't know what else to get him. <laughs> they get to that age where you, you don't know what to buy for him. And anyways, so I picked him up a little hatchet at the hardware store. Uh, here, here it is. Just a little uh, one, one and a quarter pound uh, camp axe. Um, Collins it was just uh, I think just over 20 bucks at the hardware store there um, I'm going to uh, it does have a hickory handle I'm going to uh, before I give it to him I'm going to take the varnish off the handle just because that's kind of slippery and uh, put some uh, linseed oil on it and then the edge uh, is not great I mean it has a decent profile um, but uh, I'm going to uh, sharpen up the edge uh, and maybe I'll probably drill a hole in the handle, put a paracord lanyard on it, maybe do, do a little bit of wrap uh, just to give it some character, some uniqueness. Um, maybe even burn his name in the handle, I don't know, we'll see. I'll, uh, I'll show you the finished product, but um, basically I'm gonna scrape with a sharp blade or knife, I'm gonna scrape this lacquer off and then uh, put some boiled linseed oil on there that I picked up at the hardware store. Just rub that on a couple coats and um, then reprofile the blade tip a little bit um, so we can sharpen it up and it'll work, work, should work good as a little camp hatchet. He loves the outdoors, he loves the idea of chopping up firewood, so. Hopefully he'll like his, his Christmas gift. All right, viewers, we're back. Uh, first thing I did was uh, I took that little camp ax, that hatchet that I bought from the hardware store for around 20 bucks um, that I was going to give my son for his Christmas present. And I uh, scraped that, uh, used a flat knife and I scraped the varnish off of the handles. So when they coat them at the store anymore to make them look shiny and pretty, they put that uh, varnish on there, but it actually creates, makes the tool more slippery and um, it actually can get blisters on your hand if you're using it a lot. So um, it's real easy. You can just take a knife, uh, a flat knife and scrape, scrape off that varnish. It comes off nice and easy. Um, just do it in some light so you can kind of see where it's still shiny. And then uh, once you've scraped that off, um, what I did was I drilled a hole in in the handle here and put that uh, and then I coated the handle with uh, linseed oil two coats so you rub that on boiled linseed oil and uh, it dries pretty quickly and actually the handle has a nice smooth uh, grip now so it uh, looks better it looks like natural wood it's not uh, glossy and uh, you get a good grip on it, so it feels silky smooth then I took some uh, paracord and I made a, uh, a little lanyard here and it'll cinch up just by pulling on these diamond knots here. It'll cinch up and tighten to your hand so you've got better control of it when you're using it. Uh, and I took that same camo paracord and I wrapped the head up there. That's mostly decorative. I mean, it does give you a little bit more paracord uh, if you needed it in an emergency. But uh, if you're swinging and you miss, um, it'll hit the paracord rather than your handle, uh, possibly saving saving your handle from a ding. Um, I did take the inner threads out of the paracord to make it lay flatter uh, so it wasn't so big and chunky, but you can leave it in if you want a little bit thicker grip there. But since it's for a kid, I didn't, didn't need it necessarily a big grip. Um, I uh, used a uh, bastard file and... Um, ground down the, the profile a little bit, the edge, and uh, sharpened it up. Uh, so it's it's good and good and sharp now. And then I used um, some ballastol to spray on the metal uh, to get it, uh, 
to protect it, protect the edge. Of course, this black, black paint that it came with will provide the metal some protection, but it'll wear off over time as you're using it. Um, and then in the handle, uh, I carved a brand, his initials, JJ, Jesse James. Um, so I took this little generic $20 made in Mexico hatchet that I bought at the hardware store and uh, gave it some character, gave it some pizzazz, turned it into a nice, thoughtful Christmas gift. I did um, buy a little uh, axe holder at the military surplus store uh, that we have here locally, but uh, found out it was not big enough to fit this particular axe head. So kind of a, a waste, but I have another little hatchet that I can maybe throw it on a little Gerber one, Fisker's one. Uh, but if it doesn't fit that, uh, I was only out four bucks. Uh, so since I couldn't find one, um, I've only got a few days till Christmas. I may try to uh, see if I can get some leather and stitch one up um, and see if I can get that done before Christmas. But uh, overall, fun, quick little project. Uh, it didn't take much, uh, just a, a few ingredients. So like I said, I scraped the varnish off there, used a fine sandpaper to finish smoothing out the handle. Uh, most of the, the name that was on there before came off and um, just made a nice smooth handle. A little bit of paracord to wrap it and make a lanyard and then uh, sharpen, sharpen the blade up. And it, it gave it some character, made it a, a neat little camp hunting ax and then just took the wood burner and put the, put the brand and the initials in the bottom there. So that's it. Well, thanks for tuning into this Christmas video. I noticed from looking at the metrics that some of y'all aren't sticking around till the end. And that's the best part. That's when I tell my corny dad jokes. So because it's Christmas time and I'm in the giving spirit, and for those of you who stick around, I'm going to give you three jokes today. Joke number one, why does Santa have three gardens? Because he loves to ho, ho, ho. Why are Dasher and Dancer always drinking coffee? Because they're Santa's Starbucks. And why is Santa always so jolly? Because he knows where all the naughty girls live. Wink, wink. Have a Merry Christmas.